Hello Tenno, and welcome to today's build guide. Now, I've made pretty Christmas stuff before, and I want a bit of a change of pace. So I've come up with this idea of a kind of future grimdark Christmas. Instead of Santa's workshop, think more this scene from robots. I want there to be these cool kind of automaton details, where he's kind of shifted into a more industrial age. And I want the whole build to scream despair. Santa has lost all hope. You're all getting cold for Christmas nothing else so the first thing to design is going to be the sleigh and in my mind santa's got rid of all needless decorations so instead of the overly ornate kind of bright red sleigh i'm going to try to give it a more classic car vibe but still keeping that sleigh silhouette i'm keeping the color palette bright christmasy still there's a lot of white and green the very parts used here a lot of gold nice red seating I'm going to put a little hitch on the front where you can imagine he used to hook up the reindeer. And obviously it still snows where he lives. So we need to put some nice skis on the front. Obviously this Santa no longer uses reindeers. So there's no magic nose to light the way. So we're going to install nice functional car headlights. And to enforce his idea of a future where he doesn't really care. He's not going to have pristine headlights. And all I'm going to do is put a little Ostron basket inside the light fitting to help block out the light. And that should read, especially when the fog's active, as a broken headlight. Now I'm going to start building the robots inspired portion of this build and bring the music up a little bit. I'll bring you back in when I've got some progress to show. Now, obviously what you just saw being built there was conveyor belts. And if you're curious on how I made them, they are simply some of these Grenier floor plates. They're angled forward slightly, and then they're simply grid snapped one meter apart along the entire length of the conveyor belt. At the end of the conveyor belt, we've got these drums. Now, if this wasn't a fog build, I'd be more worried about getting the detail looking right on these drums, where it looks like that belt could feasibly go all the way around. However, this is a fog build, so details like that are going to be kind of washed out. It's going to be a waste of capacity. Now, you probably noticed the Cedus mounds making up the walls. These are really big, plain decorations that don't reflect light. So the dominant color on the walls of the factory is going to be the fog color. It's going to look nice and bleak. Now, there's a fine line between bleak and boring. So to change the textures up a little bit, I made the floor out of a more shiny material. Now, the next thing I want to add are the elves. Now, I really want to drive home this switch from cheery to grimdark dystopian future factory. So instead of nice, happy elves, we're going to get these cruel, twisted, automaton-looking elves. Now, I started by selecting decorations that would work at this kind of scale. And the scale is determined by the size of these little dummy heads that came with the last batch of Daviri decorations. I'm going to make sure the limbs are all kind of jagged at weird angles. I really want them to have these kind of creepy silhouettes as you're walking around. I want to kind of create a Santa's office. And I want it looking out over the factory floor. But before we get there, let's bring the music back in and get this factory floor finished.
Okay, so I made the basic office shape off camera. See, it's very stripped out, very utilitarian. Got these kind of fake ceiling panels that you see inside warehouses, and these really kind of dank, depressing yellow lights. And now that all that's in place, we can get to the fun part and add some details. The first thing we're going to build is going to be Santa's chair. Obviously, he doesn't get his hands dirty anymore, doesn't get involved. He just sits at this chair, watching the factory run. So the seat you'd get from Sanctum Anatomica is the new open world on Deimos. And you speak to Bird 3. The backrest is a red banner with some gold highlights. I'm using the Oricon filigree. And that's about all you need. I'm going to finish up with a rug and obviously somewhere for Santa to put his feet. And obviously it's positioned right by the window so we can look out over the factory. Now another obvious cliche of a nice Christmas is everybody sat by the fire. And I'm going to create a kind of fire and a half. And I'm going to use Lua Rocks at their smallest scale to do this. Pretty much the coolest looking bricks we have. I'm going to sort of corrupt that image. And as well as burning logs to stay warm, he's also burning his stockpiled presents. And with that fire done, we've created two points of interest in this room. Now we're going to add the third and final point of interest, the Naughty or Nice List. Or in this case, just the Naughty List. Now to keep driving home this idea of this corrupted Christmas vibe, obviously our Santa is not going to sit there with a handwritten Naughty or Nice List. He's going to pass all that responsibility and work onto an automated system on a computer. Now one tiny last bit of detail to really show that Santa doesn't care anymore is going to be that he isn't even the one pushing the button for the naughty list. He is using a really lazy auto clicker, if you will, and he's simply resting a present on the button. And that, my friends, is all I've got for you. Be sure to check out the showcase build. I'll put a link at the end of the video. Any comments and queries, be sure to slap them in the comments. Obviously, any likes and shares are massively appreciated, as always. Peace out, and I'll catch you in the next one.